Hello everybody, this is Dreaming of a Year to kick off the last 16 round for my Champions Tournament. So all you beautiful combatants to earn your place here. And now it's time to see which one of you can go all the way. In this session we're going to have four matches. So we're going to start off with Dexin Winters going up against Ultimate Dino King. Carnotaurus Man taking on Dino Hunter. Raybone going up against Heady. And then Shy Guy taking on Dino Fans. So without further ado... Let's get on with our first matchup, shall we? Okie dokie, in the red corner, for Dex in Winters, we have got the Deinonychus. The dominant Deinonychus in the second trial, giving Dex in the nine points, which elevated their position in the table to get them where they are now. Right, for Ultimate Dino King in the blue corner, however, we have got a Sikiosaurus. The Satyosaurus helped Ultimate Pax Trial 1. Defeating, I think it was Spinosaurus. So yeah, what's interesting is that you guys obviously have, when you set the team, you have to take into account the trial, you know, if the if dinosaur is best suited to get the most out of the trials you're taking part in. And then you've got to take into account what it function as a team when you get to this stage of the tournament. Well, for those of you that made it. Oh, Ultimate gets the first hit and it's a big one. A big crit on the board and a shockwave. A strong start from the veteran. And with that, we will see you source will be going for paper. Oh, this is not good. And yeah, I actually learned something. So apparently, willpower type, which is which is a Satyosaurus, increases your attack power every time there's a tie. Okay, well, this is consecutive shockwave removal. So as per the rules, the shockwave rule will not apply here because consecutive remo removal. <laughs> Well, you can't go paper, for goodness sake. You can't go paper, you're going to have to go rock. Ooh, it's a tie, but that tie will do it. And down goes the Deinonychus. And this is a strong start for the Dino King. Right. Coming in next for Dexin, we got a Pyaknitskisaurus. I believe it succeeded in the first trial, the Poisonous Predator. But it's going to have to do some work here, because Ultimate has built, the, built a decent lead. But, if this Pyatnitskisaurus can get killed as Satyosaurus, it will face a Shant with type advantage, so Dexin's not out of this yet. And that's a good hit, that's promising. Oh, but the Satyosaurus responds. The Dino Illusion has been triggered. Oh, that's a tie. The ties will suit the Satyosaurus down to the ground. Oh, well, well, okay. Oh, actually, no. It's softening beam. It goes through the Dino Illusion. Oh, this is not good for Dexin. The Pyanitskisaurus is not looking good. And a shockwave as well. With the softening beam effect as well. I think that could be curtains for Dexin. And wow, he still gets to keep the Dino Illusion. Wow, Dino Illusion's so OP in this game, isn't it? Speaking of OPness, look for a uh, tier list soon for all the move cards. All right, there goes the Dino Illusion. But Dexin is in big, big trouble. Just can't seem to get a big hit on this St. Eusaurus. Just can't seem to get going. As a tie, but look at that. Can he kill it? Oh, okay, he gets a hit. Will this kill the Satyosaurus? It is a Mayfly. Pianitskisaurus's other two moves don't do that much damage. It's all in the crypt. But this Mayfly does pack enough punch to knock the Satyosaurus out. Right. For Ultima Dino King's second Dino, we've got a Shantungasaurus. Put up a very, very good fight against the Megaraptor, even if it did come up short. 
and it does have tight disadvantage against Pianitsky Saurus, which I don't think is going to matter, but it might matter if the Pianitsky Saurus can land a crit. But look at this, on such low health, a tie will kill it. But can he, can he sneak that cheap crit? Oh, he can! Ooh, is this a turning point? The Pianitsky Saurus going to land a big ninja attack. Inflict some poison as well. That'd be that'd be really ideal for Dexin. Oh, look at that! All of a sudden, Dexin storming back into this contest. Well, it served its purpose. It got off a cheap crit, so it's not doom and gloom for Dexin, but they do lose a Pianitsky source. And right for their third dino, we got the Sorofagonet. The most useless dinosaur in their team, as it was in their team during the tag tournament. <laughs> Poor thing. And I believe he failed with it as well, so yeah. At the useless. Wait, no, I think no, I think Sorofagamax passed the trial and Pianitsky Saurus failed. I can't remember now. Ooh, that's a tie. Well, can Shan take a chunk out of um, Sorrow Fagonax's HP. Took a tiny bit. <laughs> but this fire cannon will finish the job and now we are pretty much level pecking as both our combatants are down to their last dinosaurs. Right, for Ultimate Dino King's third dinosaur we got a Tarkia and this has been a really enticing contest. Ultimate start at a dominant start getting an early lead but Dexin has clawed their way back into this contest, and now it's anyone's game. Oh, I, I miss 3v3s. I mean, tag, tag matches are fun, but I love 3v3s. It's so fun. They're so cool. Ooh, there's a tie. This next hit could be crucial. And his ultimate that gets it. With an earth barrier as well. It Oh, no Earth Barrier. Oof. Dodged a bullet there. Dodged a bullet there, Dexin. And gets a hit of his own. But Ultimate still has that slight lead. But one crit from the Fagonax can change that. And now I remember that it was Sir Fagonax that passed the trial. Because I remember talking about how it, he doesn't have Firebomb and he has Kamikaze Tackle. But look at this. Dexin's in the lead. Can they win it? Ooh, that's a tie, that's a tie. But Ultimate's in trouble. Another tie. Oh, Ultimate gets the next hit. How crucial could that be? Oh, he's killed. Wait, he's killed it? Oh, okay. Ultimate Dino King gets it done in the end. And Dexin, despite putting up a late fight back. The poor start proved costly, and it's Ultima Dino King going through to the quarterfinal. Right then, representing Carnotaurus Man, in the red corner we got Patagosaurus. Now this is an interesting matchup here because this is a debut for Carnotaurus Man because they've never taken part in a 3v3, well, they've never taken part in a 3v3 match before. They only made their debut in my previous tournament, which was a tag tournament. In the blue corner for Dino Hunter, we got a Giganonosaurus. Now, what's also interesting is that Dino Hunter has a very poor record in 3v3 matches. Like, in the two tournaments that I've done 3v3s, I think they've o only won, like, one match. Or maybe they won two. Maybe, I'll, I'll say two. I think it's it two. But in the previous 3v3 tournament, they didn't win any, so, yeah. This could go either way. And it's Dino Hunter getting the first hit on the board. But yeah, with the recent success Dino Hunter had in the previous tournament, maybe they have the edge. Maybe I'd give them the slight edge here. And they're starting strong, despite the type disadvantage. Ooh, but this is how you turn the momentum in a match. The damn it word away. <laughs> A Hydro Cutter, a big crit, and a big amount of damage done. Oh, it's an Aqua Javelin! 
And that, my friends, is how you respond. Wow! Massive hit from Carnotaurus Man to basically do a 180 on this match's momentum. Right, the Dino went the second Dino. We got Lanzusaurus. I'm kind of disappointed it with Lanzusaurus in the second trial. I thought it would do more. No, wait, it did well, I think. No, we got four points. Yeah. What am I, what am I talking about? <laughs> that was a big hit from Carnotaurus, man. Ooh, and he's going to get another big hit on the board. That was a good start from Dino Hunter, but look at this from Carnotaurus, man. Steven the match's momentum. One shot in the Giga. That was really impressive. Oop, that's a tie. Well, Dino Hunter, after a good start, struggling at the minute. Ooh, but that could be a crucial hit. With a 2 2 4 a dive to come as well. Will this be enough to waste the Pachydosaurus? Nope. But it will leave it on really low health. Got light recovery there. Oh, um, it's going to kill it anyway, but look at this from Carnotaurus, man. The Hydro Cutter cutting Anzusaurus down to size. And Dino Hunter is in a big, big bind. Well, this would be interesting, wouldn't it? The Dino Hunter's third Dino is a Carnotaurus. <laughs> Can he defeat Carnotaurus, man, with one of his own? <laughs> that would be interesting, wouldn't it? If Carnotaurus Man loses because of a Carnotaurus. Oh. Oh, damn it. <laughs> I forget to close everything when I'm done like copying and pasting the moves and that. Well, it's a big hit. It's a crit. It's an overkill. And Pratinosaurus finally toppled over. Now, this is interesting because it's Alio Ramos. Super Alio Rainus, I should say, has type advantage over the Carno, so Dino and is still in a bit of trouble yet. And if this thing keeps getting hit, so if it gets hit with the Awaken mode, then I'd probably say that's game over. GG. Uh, we'll have to see, we'll have to see. The moves have to be triggered first, so if Dino and can get a crit here, he'll be right back in this contest. And he's gonna be right back in this contest! <laughs> I think I've just jinxed Carnotaurus, man, yeah? Oh no, I'm so sorry, dude. Oh, look at this! What? Almost one shot the thing! Man, Alio Ramus is so weak. I actually think, yeah, I think this Carno's heroic type. That's why that ninja attacked it and asked for the damage. Well, all of a sudden. The, the, well, things have leveled out. And we're down to Carnotaurus Man's third dino, which is Ace Dino Tector. Wow. Wow, this has been a really great match. Really good contest. You know, Dino Hunter getting a good start, and then Carnotaurus Man storming in ahead with that Hydro Cutter. And then Dino Hunter coming back into it with a Carnotaurus of his own. And right now, it's anyone's game, but the momentum right now, you have to say, is with Dino Hunter. And look, you can see the colour differences between the normal Carno and Ace. It would be insulting for Carnotaurus Man to lose to a Carno, wouldn't it? <laughs> but get a much needed hit here, get some ninja attack. Don't want to go paper, but he gets away with it this time. Oof. Okay, well, Carnotaurus Man has steadied the ship a bit. But... Oh, is that going to do it? I should do it. Carnotaurus Man, is he going to win this match? Oh, oh, 
almost, almost. I mean, with that, mean, that pretty much guarantees that there'll be no Dino Tech during this match. And that will do it. But well, Dino Hunter brought it back to 2 2, but Carnotaurus Man coming in with his ace in the hole to get the victory over Dino Hunter and advance to the quarters. And Dino Hunter's wretched record in 3v3 matches continues. Wow, that was a, that was a mind blowing contest. Right, on to our third matchup. Okie dokie, in the red corner for Raybone, we have got a Gigas with a spectral armor. Now, this, this I feel is an interesting contest here because we have two armored dinosaurs, but they're not both in first. Raybone's put his in first, whereas Heady has put his in third. Oh, and I actually didn't realize in the blue corner for Heady, we got a T-Rex. So I think the key for Heady here is if he can get past this guy this as quick as possible, then I think Heady has a strong chance of winning. But this guy gets is a massive Oh, sorry, Burpee. It's a massive threat. It's got the death fire as well, I might have. So it's, it's got massive threats. And, well, it has died in press, but we won't talk about that. Good start from Rebo. Ooh, but Heady respond with a fire cannon. Getting the response he wants. An even contest so far. Ooh, but could that be about the change with that crit? Massive damage done. And the death fire wasn't triggered. So that means death fire is no longer a threat. Ooh, but Gaida's not going down yet. Getting a diving press off, because for some reason he put diving press on Gaigas. <laughs> I'm not saying it's a bad move, but it's, you know, it's not compatible with it. Diving Press only works on, like, weaker dinosaurs. Oh, uh, that's a crit, and down goes Gigas, and that could be crucial in the contest of this match. Context of this match. However, let's not discount as a Margosaurus, it can, it can still do the... Like, Cracked on a damage, and we saw how effective it was in the third trial. Was it this guy's a Marcosaurus that passed, or the other one? I think it was this guy's. I think it was Raybone. That's a cool name. That's a cool username, right? A Raybone. Yeah, if you enter future tournaments, don't change your username, because I like Raybone. Okay. Down goes the T-Rex. But, now I still think the odds are in slightly in Heady's favour because this Triceratops has got type advantage. And type advantage could be an absolute killer. It's a guy. But yeah, very even match so far. Both sides getting off big hits. But who will land that final killing blow? Tight. Another tie. Ooh, Raybone wants to get off that Neptune stream. I think it's Neptune stream. I know one of Margosaurus has it. Oh, he's gonna get it! And Neptune Stream does ignore type disadvantage, which is excellent use for Raybo. That will mean that the note that the damage the Triceratops is about to take. Oh no, no, I clicked wrong, damn it! Okay, well the shockwave will make up for it. <laughs> Well, there you go, guys. You just learned the danger, the risks of using moves like Neptune Stream. Right, Amargosaurus will go rock because of the shockwave rule. Ooh, and that's a tie. Oh, that's not good. Hope that doesn't cost him now. Okay, well, it didn't cost him there. He still managed to kill the uh, Triceratops. 
and Raybo strikes into the lead. Right, for Hedy's third dino, we've got the Spinotector. Can Hedy come back into this with Spinotector? Or will the Amargosaurus continue its momentum? I lost the word. Well, <laughs> Margasaurs get another hit on the board. Not much damage dealt. All its power is in the crit, but an Aqua Javelin is most welcome. I feel like Raybone has turned the screw in this match. Yeah, yeah, I'm starting to think, yeah, Raybone has turned the screw in this match, definitely. And things are looking very good for him. In fact, making his 3v3 debut. It's a debut match. Heady just can't get hits. Aqua Vortex might help. Oh, is it Shockwave? Okay, okay. It does mean Amargosaurus will go for Rock. This has to be Rock. Oh, this is... Eddie, 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 that's not how you do it. Well, it was an even contest, but in the end, Raybone just got that crucial hit. The match swung in his favour. And Raybone will be going through to the quarterfinals. Right, on to our final match for this session, ladies and gentlemen. Right the ho, in the red corner for Shy Guy, we have got a Pachycephalosaurus. Shy Guy enjoying decent success in my trials. I believe they passed the, the trial 1 and trial 3. Didn't quite happen for him in trial 2. But they did enough to get this far. However, in the blue corner, we have the big success story of trial 2, the Shunasaurus. And this thing was definitely built to last. Yeah, yeah, built to last. <laughs> And we, and we saw that in the second trial, didn't we? Keeling up. The right move. They had the right move set. Like, if it didn't have that move set, Dino fans wouldn't have passed the second trial. They probably would have only got two or four points. But they certainly wouldn't have gotten that. Ooh. A softening beam incoming. The Shunasaurus's data and genetic make makeup will be analysed. Yeah. The fence in a tie will be lowered, so it'll take more damage during ties. And I believe this Pachycephalosaurus is a tie specialist. Well, who needs ties when you get off crits? Oh, oh, here come the ties. Ooh, a big crit coming from the Shunasaurus. A much needed hit from Dino fans, they just had yet to get going. Light recovery as well. We saw that during the second trial, didn't we? And you know what else we saw? This shockwave. Big hit. That. Big hit that from Dino Fan. Big response. Right, that's for the shockwave rule. Dino fans will be going scissors. Ooh, and get in the hit. Well, it was a slow start, but Dino fans coming back into this. Oh, it's a tie. Ties favour the Pachycephalosaurus, though. Oh, the Pachycephalosaurus gets the cru could be a crucial hit, that. To put Shy Guy in the lead. And we get to see a secret move for once. Ow. Right then. For Dino Fans' second Dino, we have got a, well, Chomp. The main character from the anime, Chomp. And well, it, unlike Dino Fans' his other two dinosaurs, went down like a lead balloon during his during its trial. <laughs> didn't do well, didn't do very well against Soropal, but safe to say. In fact, I don't even think it got a, it got a hit. But maybe, just maybe, in this con in this match, we'll see a bit more of what Chomp can do. 
that's not good. That's not good. That's a laser ray. And Chomp's going to take a big amount of damage. Oof. Counter Blitz has been triggered, though. So that guarantees Dino Fans at least some damage. But he needs to hit he needs to hit the Pachycephalosaurus, really. And he does. Doesn't even need the counter Blitz. Hmm, and I need a drink because my voice is starting to go. Hmm. Honestly, I, I can just not do long term long like long sessions. My voice just starts to go. I mean, it starts to go after like 20 minutes of recording. And I've been recording for a half hour. Right, for, di for Chai Guy's second dino, we got Yang Chungasaurus. Saw plenty of this guy during the first trial against the Spino. Ooh, that's a tie. Can Dino fans land a big hit before Chomp bows out? Oh, he can! He can! And this Chomp is super crisis type, so this kamikaze tackle is going to leave a mark. Look at that! Oh yeah, he got attack boost as well. <laughs> Forgot about that. The attack boost maxed up now. And all of a sudden, we are level. Well, not anymore. Chomp is going to put Dino fans in the lead. Will that lead last, though? Because coming in next for Shy Guy, we have got a Gigant Spinosaurus. They'll have tight advantage over Chomp. But Chomp doesn't have... only have has one lightning move, so... I don't think tight advantage is really going to help Shy Guy here. And I don't think it's going to be a detriment to Chomp either. I mean, Chomp's on really low health anyway, so any hit it takes, it'll kill it. But can he get off that cheap crit? The answer to that is no. Yeah, because he's going to need that. But better safe than sorry. Chomp finally going down, but it definitely pulled its weight and it definitely showed us what it can do. Right, coming in for Dino fans. For Dino... The third Dino for Team Dino fans. We have got a Delta Dromias. Delta Dromias tasted success in the first trial. I can't remember who it fought. I think it was Armatus. Well, whatever it fought, it won. So yeah, 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 I actually had a feeling this would be a close encounter, and it's turning out that way. Well, heavens help me if it's a tie. Ooh, with crits like that, I don't think a tie is likely. Here comes the death grind. Ooh, has Dino fans turned the screw right when he needed it most? I think he has, and I think this death grind is going to finish the job. Oh, he's done it! Dino fans gets it done in the end. You know, a back and forth contest, but Dino fans just ran out winners in the end and knocks out Shy Guy. Well, that was some interesting matches, wasn't it? Right, let's have a look at how our quarterfinal lineup looks thus far. Hmm, Interest, interesting quarterfinal lineups we got. We're going to have to see Ultimate Dino King take on Carnotaurus Man and Raybone going up against Dino fans. So pop a comment down below. Are you still in this tournament? And who do you think will win this tournament? Stay tuned. And make sure you don't miss out on future tournament videos. But until then, ta-ta!